Welcome back, my fantastic subscribers and viewers. In this video, I'm redesigning this boring bullet point slide, turning it into something absolutely awesome, as you see. Throughout this video, I'll be guiding you through creating this killer bullet point slide with just two simple animations. Watch as each bullet point seamlessly pops up with a click and the images gracefully fly in from the right. Looks like magic and exciting, right? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now, without further ado, let's reveal the magic. As I said, this is the slide we are going to redesign. We have titles, images, and most likely bullet points. Before starting the redesigning, let's do some warm-up activity to make the upcoming steps easier. First, go to the Home tab, navigate to Select, then select the Selection pane to open it. Next, move on to the Animation tab, select the Animation pane to open it. Then, select any object in the slide and go to the Shape Format tab. Select this arrow to open the Format Shape pane. Now that we have all these three panes open for easy access, let's start redesigning. Insert a new slide like this. Go to the Insert tab, select Pictures, and then this device. Select your preferred image for the cover picture of this slide and hit Insert. Let's adjust this picture for our intention. Go to Crop. Select Crop to Shape and select Rounded Rectangle. Click the Crop again to view the Crop area. Adjust the Crop area like this. Click outside to apply the Crop. I'm adjusting the corner radius. Click on the Crop to reposition the cropped area. Open the Format Shape pane. Go to Picture Corrections to adjust the sharpness like this. Go to Picture Transparency and adjust the transparency to 25%. Let's add this title to our slide. I've pre-formatted this title to save you valuable time. I'm pasting the pre-formatted title here. Now go to the Insert tab. Shapes and select the rounded rectangle shape. Create a rounded rectangle here like this. Set the height to 1 and the width to 4.25. Adjust its position and match the corner radius with the image we already inserted. Go to the Format Shape pane. Under the Solid Fill option, select White Color. Under the Line option, select No Line. Navigate to Shape Format, select Shadow and apply this shadow. Change the Blur Radius to 25 points. I've created the rectangle for this Welcome to Visit sentence. I'm pasting the text box which I've already formatted. Select both the rectangle and the text box. Go to the Shape Format tab to align Center and Middle. Duplicate this rectangle and place it here like this. The duplicated rectangle is for this What We Offer sentence. Again, I'm pasting the text box, which is preformatted. Align both to the center and middle as we did earlier. Now we are going to create a white frame on top of this slide. To differentiate that, let's change the background color to gray like this. Navigate to the Insert tab. Under the Shapes option, select Rectangle. Create a rectangle on top of the slide like this. Change its solid fill color to white and make it no outline. Again, go to the Insert tab. Under the Shapes option, select Rounded Rectangle. Create a rounded rectangle and adjust its corner radius like this. Make it no outline. With the rectangle and rounded rectangle selected, go to the Merge Shapes option and select Combine. This will create a rectangular hole within this white rectangle as you see. This will act as a frame now. 
right-click on this frame and select Send to Back. Let's make the bullet points with animation. Insert a blank slide like this. These are the bullet points we are going to create and animate now. I'm pasting the bullet point text boxes which I've already formatted along with icons. You can get the links to these icons in the description of this video if you want. Now select all the first set of text boxes along with the icon. Press Ctrl plus G to group them. Repeat the grouping step for the other sets like this. Let's do some organizing. Select the first bullet point group. Open the selection pane. Sort the bullet points group in ascending order like this. Let's rename the group to BP1, BP2, BP3, and BP4. Here, BP stands for bullet point. Hope you already know this. With the first bullet point selected, go to the Animations tab. Select the Float In animation. Set the start to On Click. Duration to one second. Open up the Animation pane. Go to Effect Options. Here is the animation secret that you don't know. Under the After Animation drop-down, select Hide on Next Mouse Click. Hit OK to apply the changes. Enabling this After Animation option will hide the bullet point when we click for the next bullet point to pop up. With the selection of the first bullet point group, select Animation Painter to apply the same animation to other bullet point groups like this. Apply the same animation to all the bullet point groups using the Animation Painter. Now, select all the groups. Go to the Picture Format tab. Align them to the center and middle. Hit Ctrl plus X to cut the groups. Navigate to the second slide and hit Ctrl plus V to paste them. Reposition the groups like this. We can see the bullet points appear one by one without any overlapping. Let's insert the images and animate them. Go to the Insert tab and choose the images you want. Hit Insert. Just reposition the images like this to easily apply the animations. Go to the Selection pane to organize the images properly. This will provide clarity on which image belongs to which bullet point. After that, select the first picture. Go to the Animations tab. Select the Fly In animation. Select the Effect Options to change the direction from, from bottom to from right. You can see the picture fly in from the right. Open the Animation pane and make it Start with Previous. Also, change its duration to one second. Go to Effect Options and set the Smooth Start to one second like this. Under the After Animation drop-down, select Hide on Next Mouse Click as we did for the bullet point groups. Hit OK to apply the changes. With the help of Animation Painter, apply the same animation to all other images like this. Now select all the images and align them center and middle. Hit Ctrl plus X to cut the images. Navigate to the second slide and hit Ctrl plus V to paste them. Reposition the images like this. Right click on them and hit Send to Back. Now we can see the images through the frame, right? Open the Animation pane to order the animations. Pair up the picture animations with the bullet point animations like this. Right click on the outside to access the Format Background option. Choose the solid fill color to white. 
Delete the first and third slides, which are not needed now. Now we are good to go. Let's see the animation output in the slideshow mode. You can see that each bullet point pops up for each click seamlessly. Also, the images fly in from the right respectively. How interesting is this? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you can make your own using this tutorial. If you really like this video, you will like this playlist as well. Do check it out. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. We will meet you in the next video. Until then, bye, signing off. The Slide Master.